So guys, um, Sparrow here. Just wanted to share two things I've learned today. One, I apparently cannot walk through walls. Um, don't ask me how I know that. I'm not going to tell you, because it's going to make me feel like an utter twat. Um, secondly, you can and will get kicked out of your own apartment by your flatmates for being, and I quote, too high. Apparently, I've been laughing my ass off so much that I've woken everybody up. Now, see, I've taken this as both an insult and a challenge. I could never be too high. So, I decided to make the most of it. And smoke enough a joint. I'm going to go in there and raise absolute hell. I'm going to try and film some of it for you, but... No, I don't want people knowing exactly who my neighbours are properly. So, I might have to, like, blur their faces or just, like, film the audio or shit like that. Um... So, one of the things I was thinking about, and talking with Jenna about, is the sentient animal hierarchy. Now, I know for a fact that cats would be at the top, they'd be like the world leaders. Because, all the world leaders we have right at the minute are basically like cats, they're selfish asshole cunts, who have nothing but their self and their top priorities. So, like, you know, they can't really be trusted. You can feed them, you can pet them, but they'll turn around and scar the shit out of you for no reason. Dogs would be either Irish women or redneck women because, like, you know, with a dog, and I'm not condoning this at all, but you can beat the shit out of them and they'll come back with their favourite toy and get you to play with them. And, like, you know, it's a Irish woman and a redneck woman too. Like, you know, redneck women especially, although they are a bit more robust than a dog, I'd say they're like, you know, they're strong as shit. They're like an old TV, aside from the fact that, you know, as is common with a TV, you have to give them a sharp smack every now and then to get them to work properly. <laughs> and, like, you know, I've heard someone say before, like, you know, lay off the stuff and people, they're, like, you know, they're people too. That's debatable. I mean, have you seen some of you guys? Like, you know, I don't want to be a cunt or anything, but evolution really fucked you guys up. Like, you know, you've got, like, fucking extra fingers, webbed feet. Like, you know, a bunch of you are fucking brilliant at sewing, because you could just thread the fucking thread right through the needle, you cross-eyed bitches. Mm. Um. <laughs> Seriously, guys, if I ever come to the South... Well, not if I ever, when I come to the south. Remind me to hire bodyguards who don't watch YouTube because I'm going to get fucking slaughtered over there. <laughs> oh my god. You know, if they take the time out of fucking their family. Bah! Snoochie bitches. And two more things I've got to say. One for Scott. Moist friendship fuck. <laughs> and to Jenna. Crime of passion mating. <laughs> oh my god, I've seriously lost the fucking plot. <coughs> I honestly, while I was rolling up, I saw this woman, and I shit you not, she looked like a fucking Wookiee. She was like, you know, walking around. I swear to god, if I heard her talk, she'd probably go, <laughs> fucking, <coughs> seriously, bitch, be looking like she had Bob Marley in a fucking headlock. I swear to God, I wish I got a picture of it. It literally looked like, you know, fucking Bigfoot. <clears throat> Ratchet ass bitch.